Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new MetaHuman 5.6 plugin where you can create MetaHumans inside the editor without having to use your web browser and MetaHumans got a lot more voluptuous, muscular, a lot more flexible basically. Let's have a look and see how we can do this. At this point, everything is in beta, so there is likely to be lots of errors and lots of crashes, which I've had already. You will need to watch my first video, which shows you how to make a, a build from source of Unreal 5.6, because I have released this video before 5.6 has officially been released. This will probably take around about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on your hardware. Once you've followed the video, you will have this presented to you and you can launch Unreal 5.6. So we right click the icon, start new instance. If you already have 5.6, this video is probably going to be out of date anyway, because the plugins probably going to be more stable and updated. So once we've got the Unreal launch, we're going to go into games and I'm going to start a third person template. And you may have to wait for shaders to compile if this is the first time you have done this. Once we are up and running, we are going to go into the plugins and we're going to type MetaHuman. And for now, I'm just gonna turn everything on here. The only one I'm not going to turn on is the MetaHuman runtime because it says it's depreciated, and then we will restart. Once this is restarted, I am going to press Control and Space to bring my content browser up, and I'm going to right click here, and if you've enabled these plugins, you should have some MetaHuman options here. And I am going to create this one, which is the new on the MetaHuman character. Once this is done, I am going to name it. And I'm going to double click it and it's going to give me this missing project settings. I'm going to click enable missing. And I'm going to restart again and save before I do that. Press control space again, and I'm going to double click that MetaHuman character I created before. If not, you, if you didn't save it, you can create another one again. I'm just gonna dock this up here and we're gonna have a little look at what we have here. Before we start, massive disclaimer, this is all beta technology. It's liable to crash many times, it's experimental, and it's not a reflection of what the final product is actually going to look like in any way. So please don't judge it off this video. This is just to give you a feel for it. Don't use it in any games, it's not production ready. With all that said, let's begin. So right away here, you can actually start to sculpt the bodies and you can have muscularity and different heights now, down to one, three, five. And we can also have things like wider shoulders, bigger bust, bust span, neck to waist ratio, the waist itself, and rise, oh dear, and hips, and high hips, This is certainly something you couldn't do before with the web one. So I, we're going to see a lot of funny characters coming out with Unreal, I can imagine. You can also get some crazy extension on these arms. Really muscular wrists. And we can do thighs and knees. And so we can, we can really customize this. I'm just going to reset everything back again. So I'm going to start back up the library here and just have a quick look at some of these asset presets that are here. I don't know how to change these or how to import your own yet, but I'm sure there's going to be a pipeline for this in the coming months. But this is a good basis on which to mold your character from. Oh dear. And here you can go into the body section and either create a blend from various body types. or go in and sculpt like we did before. If the hair goes crazy, you can just click this refresh preview button. 
We got some real crazy ones here if we go into negative. So I finally settled for something with pretty much middle values for everything and we can start looking at some of the other features. Notably the sculpt here which has changed um, quite extremely from the last, from the web version sorry. So you can really sculpt far wider uh, than you could before and with far more exaggeration. Teeth and eyelashes look very similar to what we saw before in the web version. It does take a while for some of these groom bindings to load. There's a transform feature which again allows more greater adjustments than previous. The skin tone is similar to what we've seen in the web version before and freckles likewise. There is a face texture index which introduces wrinkles here. And a skin filter as well which I couldn't get to work. For hair and clothing, there is these default hairstyles that you can use. And again, they take a while to load up. Always a firm favorite of mine. An eyebrow is also similar to what we've seen before. There is a section here for clothing. I should just look at moustache first. There's the look there. The undo doesn't always work great yet, but this is probably just a beta thing here. So it looks like I may be stuck with the moustache. No, we can remove the moustache, thankfully. Just hit this remove button at the bottom, I'm being an idiot. There is a clothing section here, which I assume you'll be able to add to in the future. At the moment, there's just one default garment which isn't great. So when you're done faffing about here, you can cre create the full rig here, which takes some time. Now, once you've created the rig, you won't be able to go back to editing again unless you click on remove rig. And in this beta, this is slightly broken. So be careful about this. I've had to relaunch it a couple of times, but I'm sure they're gonna fix this. You can also get the different previews here, which is the topology preview the clay preview and also the different lightings here. Which I believe is already a feature of the web version. And your views here for epic, uh, medium or high, depending on what um, GPU so do you have in your computer. So whenever this is done, as I mentioned before, you can remove the rig there or you can download the source textures. I'm going to go for the 4K. Once this is done, you might have to go back into it again. There's an assemble button where, again, this will take some time. You might have to sign into Epic here so all the wonderful staff there can see the wonderful characters I've been creating and decide to either ban me or just not generate my character. And when this is done, you can start to get your face animations or your body animation previews here on the side. Which we've also seen before in previous versions. You can just load that in and press play here and you'll start to see some of these. And similarly, we can put some of the face animations here as well. And if you have the third person template like me, you can choose specific animations here. So 
So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make something better than I did. And I hope that you don't criticize me too much or mock me or I lose any subscribers. But there is the preview for 5.6 MetaHuman plugin. Let's get those into timelines. Let's get them into third person characters and see what wonderful things you can create. Thank you for watching.